What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and with the release of iOS 14, widgets have finally become a thing. Well, at least for the iPhone, because we all know Android phones have had widgets for over a decade now. But anyway, today we're gonna take a look at 10 widget apps that I think that you should try. Let's take a look. Firstly, let's take a look at Widgetsmith. It's a free to download app on the App Store, and this is arguably the most popular widget app I've come across this far. It really shines in my eyes for offering really solid customization and an overall really clean look that goes well with the overall aesthetic of iOS 14. Taking a look here, we've got three different sizes available to choose from and seven different primary categories when you go inside the widget menu here. Those being time, which is gonna offer a really simplistic view of the time and the current day's date. You've got the date menu, which is gonna offer a more calendar view, showing you the day of the week within the month in several different styles. The custom page is probably my favorite just cause you can insert your own text or your own image. Uh, you've got the calendar widget, which is actually gonna provide you a look into your event you've got into your calendar. You've got your reminders, which is gonna show you any upcoming reminders you've got. The health and activity widget is a nice one for Apple Watch users as you can track your rings. You've got an astronomy widget for tracking sunrises or sunsets, and even a star fueled widget that you can tweak based on your location. And then if you sign up for Widget Smith Premium, you can get access to the tide and the weather widgets. The weather ones look really cool. So just to demonstrate the customization, we're gonna go ahead and add one here. I'm gonna do the date widget. So I'm gonna click on this one here. So we can choose rounded. We can choose between many different fonts here. Let's do chalk duster for color. Let's do this teal background color. Hmm. We can even do outlined options here. So we'll do this one. And this is essentially what one would look like. And like I said, this is a really clean uh, widget app and I'd highly recommend it. It's free to download. If you're looking for a simpler widget app specifically for photos, then Photo Widget is definitely one to check out, as this app allows you to have a rolling gallery of up to 30 photos in one widget. And you can actually tweak how long it takes to transition to the next photo. So if we go into our settings here, we can tweak the photo refresh interval. You can do never, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, you get the gist. So let's go ahead and add that widget. I'm gonna do a large, which is quite fitting because the first photo is a large iPad Pro. Probably my favorite widget on this list is Steve. I think Steve has the potential to be the new Flappy Bird. I think it just depends on if TikTok adopts it or not. So Steve is a widget containing a game, very similar to Flappy Bird as far as the mechanics, where you just tap the screen to avoid the little cacti here. And it's a really fun game. Uh, I'm currently at a, s a score of <laughs> 52. And uh, let's see if we can go a little higher here. I'm bad at the game right now because of my positioning as far as how I'm holding this, trying to present it uh, to the camera. But um, some people just say I'm making up excuses. So the way this game works, I think there's unlimited lives. So I guess a high score doesn't really matter um, if you can't get it in one run anyway, or there's no way to prove that you got it in one run uh, because you have unlimited lives. But I'm gonna declare here that the official tech YouTuber world record is 75. Boom, someone come at me, beat that score. Sticky Notes is a pretty decent widgets app for iOS 14 as it offers an easy way for you to organize your notes and have them ready on display on the home screen here. And of course they're trying to make a buck like the rest of us out here. So they've got several paid options to expand functionality like adding different fonts, using a pen, uh, adding iCloud sync and adding different themes. So as you can see here, I've got the app on my side menu and I've got four sticky notes displayed here at once. Uh, Pink Panther is kind of overrated. To be honest, the UI of the app isn't the best, but if you just want to have quick reminders and don't really care about uh, having fonts or something really aesthetically pleasing, I think this is a perfectly fine app for free. Now, if you are someone who's big on aesthetic heavy widgets, then this is definitely one to consider. Color widgets is a really nice option as they've got a bunch of different themes here to choose from. Uh, let's dive in. Let's take a look at this one. So as you can see, it displays your battery life. You can set this as a default or you can edit the widget. Let's hit edit. We can change the size or at least view the different sizes, what it looks like in small, medium, and large. We can change the background, light, dark, or colored. You can change the font here and you even have the option to add a photo. So let's do that. Wow. Set widget. And now I just go to color widgets, boom. 
set a medium, and I think that looks really nice. So yeah, this app is free to download on the Play Store, and I'd highly recommend it. If you're looking for widgets to trigger specific actions on iOS 14, this is a cool app to try. Launch Center Pro combined with the Today widget allows you to create specific system actions or actions within a certain app, whether it be bringing up your favorite playlist or a specific Amazon search. So I've already got one set up here, but just to show you what it looks like, this is an Amazon search. As you can see here, I have it set to search drums. And for the icon, that's actually a photo that I uploaded myself straight out of my camera roll. And if I wanted to, I could just replace it like so. So now it's a pineapple, but it still does the same thing. And then when I click this, it's gonna go to Amazon and search drums. So overall, this is a pretty cool app and something I'd recommend as it's free to download. AW Widget is a pretty cool widget if you're looking for one that displays network speeds, um, if you just wanna monitor it. It's a free app to download. So as you can see here on the side menu, it's monitoring the current Wi-Fi network I'm on. Nothing's really going on right now, <laughs> so not a whole lot in the up and down. Overall, I think it's just really simplistic. Uh, it doesn't really get in the way, uh, and it's free to download, so it's nice to have. Everyone needs some motivation every once in a while, so I thought this was a good app to show off. This is motivation, and it essentially is just a widget for showing off compelling and motivating quotes for the day. So when going into the app here, you can choose what kind of motivation you want. Uh, I'm gonna go with productivity. That's right here, I'm gonna go with studying and I guess I have to watch an ad. So yes, it's free to download, but it still kind of comes at a cost with these ads. There's a paid subscription that you can pay for that unlocks much more functionality, as you can see here, like much more categories, no ads, and then different themes. But this is essentially what it's gonna look like. Let's add a large. The foundation of a strong self comes from small acts of daily discipline. Dawn is another aesthetic focus widget app, but this is simply for your calendar, and I really like the vibe it brings to the home screen overall. In the settings, you can choose between a light and a dark theme for the app, and a paid option will allow you to sync your iCloud calendars and use spaces, which is a feature meant to consolidate events and projects into groups. Overall, it's a nice app to use if you just wanna throw in daily tasks. It works pretty well for that. So let's go in and look at our options here. We've got a bunch to choose from. We've got time and month, today's list, just today, and then we've got some month views. So let's add a today's list. It fits really well on the home screen. Highly recommend you check this out. Day count is a nice little countdown widget that I thought would be cool to share. This is a cool app to use if you either wanna count down the days to an event or track the amount of days you've been with your job perhaps or the amount of days you've been quarantined. They of course offer more features with a subscription plan but the basic free function should be good enough for the average person to use. So as you can see here, I've got an event in the past and an event in the future. And then when I go to my little side menu here, click the expansion menu, I've got a nice little translucent view. The UI of the app itself isn't that great, but I think the widget looks great here. And it's free to download in the App Store. I'd highly recommend it. But that's gonna be about it for this one. If you wanna check out any app that I talked about in this video, just check the description. All the links will be there. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.